Yo, what's going on? Lockout, man, in the truck. What's up for another podcast for this evening? It is still December 30th. A little, a little, a little later in the evening. Uh, The time is 940. I got to get up early in the morning, man. I got to get up in the morning. But I... I got a call from from uh, from Queen Trucker. What's going on, Queen? And she was like, "Yo, lockout. Are you watching this drama unfold on YouTube?" I'm like, "No, nah, I'm I'm not uh I'm not following. What's what's happening? What's going on?" She was like, "Look, you should go check it out. It's between like three former YouTube." buddies and then in the back of my mind i was going like wait little dog little guy and ike stevens she was you know in the back of my mind i'm going like those those former buddies but i'm like they still beefing i thought i thought they got they beefing done i was just like okay i thought i thought the beef was cooked chopped up and thrown out the way I I thought of it. I I didn't know that it was still beef going on amongst YouTube truckers in this YouTube niche or field or anything like that. Now, my thing is this. My thing is this. The subtle beefs and all like that. Somebody got a beef with you and all like that. Sometimes it's just best not to maybe talk or address it that's the word i'm looking for sometimes it's best not to address it especially on youtube we interrupt our program to bring you this important message that's right that's right what could be important the super shout out right super shout out goes out to my man music trucker aka bandit thank you for commenting in my comment session bro i appreciate it and if you guys want to get shout out in the next video all you got to do is like this video like it and then hashtag shout out social media facebook snapchat instagram twitter all these where was all of this before all of this you know before and i you know i I, and i would get into why i came back on to make this quick podcast for this evening but i'm i'm watching the videos it's it's i'm not going to mention names because like i said i don't i i don't like drama i don't like drama on my channel so I don't talk about the drama, but this is kind of funny that these three or four, if you want to count the if you want to count the guy, but these three, they was tight in the beginning. They made all sorts of videos about how great they was, how tight of a fam they was, how how was they click and all like that, and then later down the line they sort of fell out with each other and it just fell off for whatever reason you know i mean i i don't follow none of them but they they still come up in my in my in my recommendations so of course i'm familiar with them you know what i'm saying but why why use this platform to spill to to spill shit you know what i'm saying y'all w- let me ask you this will you guys actually be doing this shit in person in person face to face mano e mano you know will you guys be actually doing that if you have a beef with a person will you guys be doing that mano e mano y'all see what happens when beef becomes real 
don't let me bring back the beef between Tupac and Biggie. Where are they at? You know, the beef between uh, a couple of others. Where are they at? Now they friends. Now they enemies. Now they friends. Are they doing this for YouTube? Are they doing this for views? Are they doing this to get the clout back? Are they doing that? Are they doing this for 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 the attention? Because 2019 is out and y'all want to go out with a bang so y'all could come back in the next year and be like, oh, we are back to kumbaya and, and all like that. We just, we just, you know, show that we was just, you know, we, we handshaking and all like that. But why do it in the first place? I have a problem with you. I'm going to let it known to be known to you. I'm going to call you up. Yo, bro, I got a problem with you. We're going to talk over the phone, yada, yada, yada. I had several problems with, with a couple of people this past year, some of which spilled over into YouTube, but I, I of course, rectify that. You know what I'm saying? Some of which spilled over into Zello channels. I rectify that. Some spilled over on Facebook. I rectify that. If I have a problem, because a lot of a lot of people don't know me, all right. If you get to know me, cool. You know, you know that I'm not a person of of getting you know getting in people's faces. I'm I'm a I'm a by myself type of person. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm really am. I'm a by myself type of person. You know what I'm saying? I go upstairs, get into my computer, do what I do, play my game, edit my videos. And all like that. I'll chop it up with you. You know, I'll chop it. If you cool with me, I'm cool with you. You know, I'm not for the I'm I'm too old for the games. I'm too old for the for the roasting. I'm too old for all of that. I'm too I'm I, I guess I guess I don't have uh what do you call it? What what do you what would they say? Well if you don't have uh, uh, the stomach or the stamina or or it's a word that I'm looking for and it'll come to me but as of right now I can't remember offhand but um, if you can't if, if you can't get with it wh whatever actually I could I'm I'm not the type to roast nobody I'm I'm not the type to roast anybody maybe you can come and roast me maybe I could say something that was that was funny to you or something like that or I maybe say something that'll make you say, hmm. Or I will say something, you know, that's that 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 calls for being funny. Oh, well, you know, it's all love. It's all okay. It's all good. It's all love. We just do that. We just do this. We just, I don't. I don't do that. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't do your mama jokes. I don't do no roasting jokes. I I just don't get it. You know, I I seen where that stuff leads to. You know, when when they be battling and all like that. I seen when battling goes from being honest jib jabs to honest fisticuffs. You know what I'm saying? Some people just can't take it. You know. Some people just can't take it. So instead of participating in it, I just leave it alone. I know, you know, if I do something wrong to you, if I do something wrong to you, bring it to my attention. Lock out, man. Yo, I, I, I felt that you disrespect me. I felt uh, that you offended me any kind of way. All right, bro, well, what, what did I do? Let me know. I'll rectify it. That's it. And we can keep on going. We can make it happen. You know, there was a lot of there was a lot of so-called friendships this year with me. You know, I met I met a I, I, I met a I met a couple of truckers that I thought that was cool. That I thought that was cool. We we chopped it up. We we sat at the same table. We ate together, we mashed together, but then one day you just flipped the script on the brother and I, I had to let it go. I had to let it go. And then, you know, we came, you know, I was in a 
we we came in Facebook. We 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 mashed up in Facebook a little bit, but I stopped that because I don't do social media. I don't do social media. I mean, I do social media because of YouTube, but Facebook? I don't do Facebook beefs. If I got a problem with you, I'll, I'll let you know in your face. Like, yo, bro, they, you know what I'm saying? No cryptic, no, uh, no subliminals, nothing. And if you have a beef with me and you bring it to me on social media, don't expect me to reply. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to I'm not going to entertain that. You see what I'm saying? So for all, you know, for all this drama and all this YouTube beefs that's on YouTube right now, you know what I'm saying? It 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 makes for good for good reality TV. Shit, this is better than reality TV because reality TV is is, is scripted. <laughs> This ain't scripted. This is, this is beef. This is like you giving that you gave. You gave somebody a piece of you. Now they know about you. Now they spilling it. On on the internet. They spilling it on the internet, you know, and I, 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 I you know, I. We watch it because we're interested in it. You YouTube, it is what it is with YouTube. You got you I got my own supporters. I got my own fans. I got people that like me, that that rocks with me, that fucks with me. You know what I'm saying? This like you got people that rock with other people. So you start saying beef. Somebody say somebody's name in in a YouTube video. The wrong way. All right? Now, if it's said the right way, nobody ain't going to run to the other person's channel and get into their comments or their live feeds and say, hey, such and such said something about you. Especially if it's good, they ain't going to say nothing. But if that person turns around and say something the wrong way out the side of the neck, subliminal, you can best damn guarantee that somebody, if not everybody, is going to run over to the next channel, next door, knock on their door, and be like, yo, such and such said something about you, bruh. And then with that dude or that female is going to run back, look at that video, and be like, oh, okay. And then what they're going to have to do is make a response video. I'm going to have to respond to that. And then once you respond to it, then that person or persons in that comment session or in the live is going to run back over there. It could be the same people, by the way, the same people. Now, same people, they're going to knock on their door and say, yo, did you hear what such and such said about you? Wait a minute. You you talking about the same person that I mentioned in my in my video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go back, and then they're gonna have to go back and watch it, and then they and then they gonna have to respond to that video, and then this vicious cycle starts all over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until one of y'all either stop responding and then it and then it'll die out it'll die out i guarantee you won't hear no more on it because nobody ain't responding on it that's how you drown youtube drama just don't respond to it you know maybe it's hurtful like I said, the video that was made against me last year, sometimes, I mean, sometime last year, it was vicious. It was personal. You know what I'm saying? My man came at came, my man came at me with the with with the with the venom. You know, I'll admit it. I was you know I was jaded by it. You know what I'm saying? But 
I chose not to respond to it. I chose not to respond to it because, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure what was his mind state when he made the video. Now, I admit on my part where I was wrong, you know, and I, I did make a video because I did, you know, I made a video that everybody it was that everybody enjoyed at one time and then it sort of it sort of changed and I left it alone. I took it down. Took it down off my YouTube page. It's not it's not up there no more. You know, I thought I would I thought it was pretty cool just like everybody else thought that was that the video was pretty cool. But unfortunately there was a scene that uh that the young man didn't like, you know and you know we we addressed it we addressed it and you know like i said he addressed it his way i addressed it my way and and i left it alone i still like i said before i respect that dude like i said his channel is one of his channel is one of the most inspiration channels on youtube you know what i'm saying I mean, like I said, I, I'm not sure what was his what was his his thought process at the time when he made that particular video, but that wasn't his character. That the, if you go and watch this man's channel, and you watch that video that he did of me, you'll be like, God damn, what the fuck lockout man do to this dude to bring him out of character like that? Because it wasn't in his character to make that particular video about me. You know what I'm saying? But I I got it. I I understood it. You know what I'm saying? I understood it. And I chose not to respond to it because, like I said, I, I didn't want to start no beef with this man. I still respected this man. Me and this dude is from the same is from the same state. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this this bruh, this this bruh, like I said, he He's he's an inspirational type of cat, you know what I'm saying? He's well he's well spoken, well minded, and and well focused. So that's why I chose not to not not to respond to that video. Like I said, at that at that particular time, at that particular time, you know, like I said, it was it, it was cool. So. Like I said, it was a lot of stuff that I that I let go. A lot of people that I came across and a lot of people that I let it go. A lot of people that I thought that was cool, but come to find out they're not. You know what I'm saying? I you know, I thought I was tight with 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 a number with a number of truckers. Come to find out we don't have we don't have nothing in common. We don't have nothing to you know, we don't have nothing in common. You know what I'm saying? Is you know, you I I guess you gotta be a special type of person to rock with me, I guess. You know what I'm saying? My thought my thought process and how I move and how I think is is totally different from the way other people move and other way people think. And it's best to just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? I was I thought I was cool with a lot of people, but a lot of people thought that I was, you know, that I was the funny guy, that I'm the weird guy. You know, maybe I am. Maybe I am the weird guy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I, I say things that's like off the wall sometimes. But this YouTube beef, especially amongst these three characters right here, I thought that they was all cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, they made videos that they was tight. They was making videos at home. They was making videos when they was getting their nails done. They they made they made interview videos together. They chopped up together and all like that. But what happened? What happened? You know, what happened? Y'all not talking about that. Y'all talking about the now, the beef now. But what happened? Why y'all broke off? Y'all didn't y'all didn't come on YouTube back in the day and say, oh, okay, I'm not fucking with this guy no more because of such and such and such and such. But now y'all coming on YouTube 
making video jabs after video jabs after video jabs after video jabs, you know? And is it is it worth it? Is it worth it? This YouTube space, this trucking space is small, small, real small. Y'all going to run into one another one of these days. And then what? What y'all going to do? What y'all going to do when y'all run into one another? Nothing. Maybe slap hands and be like, oh, my bad, kumbaya. But what y'all going to do? I'm like what OG Ricky said back in the day. That's another YouTuber. Y'all should go and check him out. OG Ricky, uh, the Grown Folks channel. He said that, that, he said that it's not the YouTube truckers that's going to start an issue in public. It's the YouTube fans. It's that, it's that you, that, that, that person that loves that YouTuber. That's the one that's going to start the problem. That's the one that's going to come in your face. That's the one that's going to come in your face. That's going to start some that's going to start some physical harm to you. Not that YouTube trucker that you beefing with. Not that one. It's 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 like Ricky said, it's going to be it's going to be that your favorite YouTube trucker fan. That's the one that's going to come and do the and and do either physical harm or do something. It's not going to be that YouTube trucker. It's not going to be, oh, okay, I'm here at the Flying J up in up in uh up in uh up in such and such pull up there. Uh trust me, that YouTuber is not going to come over there and pull up on you. It's going to be that that fan that's going to pull up on you. Mark my words, man. Come on, y'all. This is Come on, man. Social media, man. Y'all making too much money out here. It is too much money out here to get for you guys to come on YouTube and beef. Remember, YouTube is not paying you guys money. Y'all not making no money off of no YouTube? What, 10, 15, 20, 100, $100 here, $100 there a month? YouTube is not is not paying y'all money like that. Stop the beef. Stop the madness. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? Get in the truck. Do your job. Do YouTube for a hobby. And then go home and be happy. That's all. That's all. Go home and be happy. If you don't like a YouTuber, this like y'all used to say with the television. If you didn't like what was on the TV, turn it off. Change the channel. There's over a thousand videos on YouTube that you guys could watch. Change the channel. Turn it off. Go somewhere. Get out of here. That's what y'all do. You know? But y'all, y'all making money. Y'all making, y'all making so much money that is not even profound to even get on YouTube to to beef with one another. We already got problems with this industry as it is. Driving every day, getting cut off, coming, comings and goings with the receivers, the shippers, and even my problem with Denny's. And and to end this with Denny's, okay? I'm here at the Denny's in uh in uh at the Flying J right here at uh Dallas, Texas. I go in there, I make my order, you know. It was cool. I make the order. I got a uh, what? Uh chicken strips, uh, a little a little steak. Uh, corn and, and mashed potatoes Let me tell you She brought out the plate Okay The meat 
the 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 steak was the steak was good. Yeah, it was it was kind of tough, but it was good. The mashed potatoes and the corn was cold. All right, it it was cold, and the chicken strips didn't even come out until later. So, I asked the the waitress. I said, "Hey, uh, excuse me." I said, "Can you come over here right quick?" She was like, "Yeah, how can I help you?" I says, "Um, this uh." Ma- I mean, this mash and corn is, is cold. I said, can you take this back? I didn't want them to warm it up. Don't don't warm it up. I, I want it made refresh, hot, off the grill type shit. So she brings, so, now mind you, it was maybe about 15, 20 to 25 minutes before I actually got my food, okay? But then... It took about another 10, 15 minutes for the for them to finish up with the corn and the, and the mashed potatoes. So she brings out the corn first, and I'm looking like, where's the mashed potatoes? Oh, it's still being cooked. And I'm like, okay, all right, well. So she kind of like got sly with me and all like that. She was like, well, you want to talk to the manager? At first I said no, but I was like, yo, come here. She was like, yes. I said, go ahead and get your manager. So the young lady comes out. She comes over. She goes, hey, hi, how how you doing? I was like, I'm not doing so well right now. I'm like, my meat is cold now. I'm supposed to eat my meat with the vegetables while it's hot and juicy and tasty. Now it's like cold and hard and not enjoyable. Uh, Okay, well. You know, she went into a little spill about the mashed potatoes not being ready and they not supposed to be cooking no mashed potatoes. And I wanted to, I was like, look, I want my food hot. That's what I pay for. Y'all charging $15, 16 $17 for this shit. And you mean to tell me I can't get it, get it the way I want it? Come on now. I mean, it, it's supposed to be hot when you eat. And then it's supposed to be enjoyable when you eat. That wasn't my experience with this Denny's this evening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I said, you know, at, at first I'm I'm going over in my mind like, all right, all right, lockout man, should I leave it alone? Should I say something about it? Should I should I come on social media and and speak about it like I'm doing right now? All this is going over in my head right now. So I get, you know, I said, hey, I said, you know what? Let me let me get the phone number to the customer service. I, I will call them up and and give them my experience about this Denny's. Now, it wasn't it, it's not it's not the waitress fault. I want to say I want to honestly say it's not her fault, but, you know, uh it was you know it it was it is what it is okay well i don't have a this the phone number that's on the receipt it it goes to a corporate no i said the phone number on the receipt is the phone number to hear i'm looking at the phone number on my phone it's the same phone number to the store not the corporate i want the phone number to corporate oh well if you dial that phone number right there It'll connect you to corporate. No, no, it don't. It connects you to here. The area code is 972. Corporate numbers usually start with an 800, 866, or 899, or whatever. It normally starts with an 8. All right? It's a toll-free number that you can call to either complain or say something good about the company in my case i want to of course call there to complain (laughs) you know give them my experience with this particular denny's oh well i i I don't have it okay well give me the number that you called to corporate okay i don't have it all right who's who's the regional manager oh that's that's such and such okay well give me her number Oh, I, I don't have that number. 
What do you mean you don't have that number? I, I don't have that number. Okay, how do you get in contact with her when you need it? Oh, I, I can get in contact with her. Okay, well, give me that number. Oh, well, that's her personal number. Okay, well, give me her business number. I'm sure when she gives out a business card, her business number is on that card. Let me have her business card. Oh, I, I, I don't have a business card. Okay, but she'll be here at 6 o'clock in the morning. Dude, I'm leaving at 4. I'm not leaving that. I'm not waiting here to talk to her and I could call. That's all you have to do is give me the number and I could call. Okay, well, I, I could give you a discount. I was like, okay, I already get a discount. I'm a truck driver. I get 10%. Oh, okay, well, I could take I, I could take more off. I could give you 20 she gives me the receipt, and she only took $3 off. The meal was like 17 and she took $3 off. I, I'm, I'm looking at the receipt like, can you do better? I mean, it's already bad enough that I had to wait almost an hour and plus some for, for, the, for me to finish the meal that, I'm, that, I, that I asked for. And you're going to come back at me with, with a $3 slap in the face? For real? I mean, you can, you, you can make this shit like half off or something. Oh, well, that, that, that's all I can do. Oh, okay. Okay. So we left it at that. So like I said, I'm going to Google the Denny's corporate. Going to type in. Maybe go to Twitter. Type in Denny's. Yo, my experience, such and such and such and such. Better yet, you can come to this video. <laughs> I already just told you my experience with Denny's here in Dallas, Texas, Bonneville, bon Bonview Road. Don't come here if you want your food code. See, I, I knew I should have just went on here. And, that's, be, I, I know I'm rambling. I'm, I, I'm, I'm getting to the point. I usually just get breakfast at Denny's, period. Eggs, sausage, hash browns. Boom. I just want to try something different. This is actually, this is the second time that I had a bad experience with a dinner at Denny's. All right? So, breakfast. That's, I, I'm just going to stick with that. I call myself trying to treat myself. But I'll, I'll stick with that breakfast. That's it. Everybody, if you like this content and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am Lockout Men of Lockout Men Podcast. Yo, if you want to hit me up, lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Get at me on Instagram at Lockout Men. Chop it up with me. Yo, I mean, I'm... You cool with me, I am cool with you. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to fuck with me, then don't fuck with me. That's not going to stop me from getting my bag. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. YouTubers all over the world. Truck drive, trucker, YouTube truckers. Don't let this YouTube shit stop your bag. Don't let it. Stop it. Stop with the drama, man. Come on. Come on. Stop with the drama. YouTube is not paying you to keep this shit up. All right? I get at you guys with another video. Peace.